Last year, Air Force Secretary Frank Kendall made headlines when he announced plans to develop a drone counterpart for the still-yet-to-be-unveiled B-21 stealth bomber. Now, it appears the project is dead before it ever got off the ground. The idea of a similar-range collaborative combat aircraft is not turning out to be cost-effective, so it looks like we're not going to go that direction," he told Breaking Defense in an exclusive interview at the Royal International Air Tattoo. After doing some analysis, the idea appears to be less attractive than we thought it might be, Kendall said, with the reasoning coming down to value. Bombers are by nature large planes, not only so they can carry large weapons payloads, but so they can fly at the long ranges needed for an aircraft to conduct a strategic strike anywhere in the world. But that size can drive cost, and in the end, the Air Force determined it wasn't worth developing an unmanned B-21 counterpart that would be comparable in size to a large bomber. For relatively small platforms, taking a crew out can make it much cheaper, he said. But for large platforms, you don't gain that much because the crew is only a small fraction of the weight, a small fraction of the cost by comparison. Kendall first announced his intention to start two new classified drone programs to Politico in December. Later that month, he disclosed that one of them was meant to be a wingman, of sorts, to the B-21, and part of a larger family of systems that would accompany the B-21 into battle. The B-21 is a very expensive aircraft. It has a certain payload and range. We'd like to amplify that capability it has to penetrate, which is valuable, he said on December 9th.